Hello Sagittarians, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of June 15th through the 21st. This reading is for all of the Sagittarians out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of June 15th through the 21st. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you feel like you connect with me, I'm the reader for you. And you want to show some support, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, as well as the thumbs up image. If you need a private reading, the link is in the description box. Um, I have one more slot for a free reading. So if you would like to be considered, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment in the comment section so that I know you were here. Okay. All right. So let's get started with this Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Reading spirit, what is their energy for? Okay, we have the chariot, Cancer's energy. Okay, all right. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer or have Cancer in your chart. The Queen of Wands came out. They had the Queen of Wands, okay. So, in the Will of Fortune, moving on from someone or something. The Ace of Wands, I'm sorry, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Five of Wands. The Star. The Knight of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords and the Temperance card. I'll start off with those when I start to clarify. You have two of wands or two of swords at the bottom of the deck. I don't know why I keep saying two of getting everything mixed up. Mercury and the retro read. Okay. Someone is blocked right now. Someone feels blocked. They feel as if you are moving on. Could be you, could be your partner. You could actually be blocking someone and moving on from them because you know your worth. Okay. Chariot, Cancer energy. You know your worth. A cycle has come to an end with this person and you are moving forward. Some of you may have gotten a new vehicle with their wheel of fortune or a new home. Thinking about getting a new vehicle or thinking about a new home. I'm seeing newness here. Some of you may be loving on yourselves. A new beginning in love with yourself, focusing on your finances at this time. Or either someone wants to come in because they feel like you moved on and you're single and they want to have a new beginning in love. But there's some conflict here, some arguing, some fighting going on. Someone could be in some type of mental confliction. And with the star card, you could be healing and moving towards something better. Aquarius energy. Or you are hoping that you're able to move on from this love and continue to block your heart from this person that wants to come back in. I feel like with this King of Swords, you, an honest conversation is going to take place about balancing out this energy, being pac patient, having patience. But let's see. Temperance, that's your energy. Yeah, you could be at a distance from this person. It could be a fixed sign, a Leo, a Scorpio, Taurus, or an Aquarius. But you could be traveling towards this person. They could be traveling towards you. I, I told you, I feel like someone may have gotten a new vehicle or something like that. They may want to come towards you, but they are waiting for the right time. Right now may not be the right time because you walked away from them. You put an end to this union and you're going through a transformation so they feel like things are stuck 
like they're not going to move forward because you're single now. They don't know if you're dating someone new and they want to come back in after you walked away. This person could also be experiencing financial hardships. They feel backstabbed, betrayed, let down because you took action. You listened to your intuition. You gained clarity, enlightenment, and you moved on. You started off on a new journey without them. Now you may be juggling multiple things, multiple people, but guess what? All in all, you're holding back from this person so that you can have balance and stability in your life because this person, be, they, they caused you some type of disappointment. There was some type of disappointment in this union. So you had to make change for yourself to make yourself look, feel better. Yeah, you were up in your head about this situation, overthinking. Yeah, there was heartbreak, disappointment, arguments, but now you have the victory because you moved away. This person could be spying that on you at right now, driving past your home, checking to see what you are doing because they want a new stable beginning. They only want to come back in and commit, but you're not going. You don't. You don't want to do it. See, it, someone is up in their head at night. They're like, oh, is this really over? Although I know I was juggling multiple people. Is this over? So what's the outcome? See? They want to come back in for a second chance. This person wants to come. I feel like you may give them another chance. It may not be right now. But I'm seeing another, like you, you giving this person a second chance with the hierophant. You may be getting advice from other people to get some enlightenment. But you're ready to take action to welcome this person back in because you love them. And you're going to open that door quickly for this new beginning. It, it may start off small. I miss you. I love you. How are you doing? But you're going to give this person the attention. Although you're wounded, you feel like the wounded warrior with their nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. You're going to, um, you're going to, you're going to give this person another chance. Although they were in a third party, I don't even know if they let that third party go. Yeah, look. No, you're going to still block them for some time. You're going to let them back in, but it's not going to be right now. Excuse me. Yeah, it's not going to be right now. Yeah, you two may be just talking about it with the talking card coming out. You may be talking about a reconciliation. Or either this person wants to talk to you or you them. The energies could go either way. This could be your energy or theirs. Apply it as it fits to your story. This person, yeah, they think that you're their um, soulmate. They're passionate about, passionate about this union. This person is ready to come back in. Mm -hmm. After a separation, this person is ready to come back in and talk. Okay. They're ready to come back in. They love you. And you still love them. What's the energy for my Sagittarians? Okay. Let's see. So this person may feel like they're a god but you know otherwise and you need their support you need their protection you feel protected with this person but you're not their servant you're not waiting on, waiting on them hand and foot you are not their maid they must think you are their maid or something because we service is at the bottom of the deck you're trying to coexist with them. You want to be their wife. Some of you could have a child with this person. 
But if this person is ready to come back in to have this conversation, I'm going to leave it at that. Sagittarians, this is your reading for the week of June 15th through the 21st. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to the community section of this channel to check out um, updates. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you next time. Bye.